All right. What do you think we we listen to this new Zaloopers project, Gremlin, tonight, and have a little bit of a, a listening party to to ignore the the nonsense going on outside? Anybody who's dealing with uh, everybody who's dealing with the uh, the COVID nineteen nonsense, please please stay safe and uh, you know take care of your family, wash your hands, etc. Um, in, in fact, from Zaloopers himself, a quick message that, that that everyone could probably use at this point. Just maybe. Zaloopers. Zaloopers is somebody who is definitely no stranger to this this very channel. Zaloopers is somebody who uh, there's live concert videos, there's multiple reviews of of albums, his previous two projects, which is a uh, wild card and uh, dynamite. And uh, the past year, we have seen Zaloopers kind of take this this whole new approach. It almost feels like this whole whole new uh, like evolution. It, it definitely feels. Like, if you look at his earlier discography and you, you take a look at the helps and the bothics, and then you kind of fast forward two or three years, and then you're now with like the wild cards and the dynamites, it's all the same artist. There's really no switch up. There's no like crazy cr- transgression where you're like, wait a second, this is not what I signed up for. That never happens, like, at all throughout this guy's discography. All that happens is just the the impending impending improvement over and over and over time and case time and case uh and this project really isn't anything different in in all retrospect i don't think that there's anything that is going to set this guy back if you just look at how much i praise dynamite if you just look at how much i praise wildcard you will understand just how much gremlin is uh important to me i was lucky enough to go see him open up for danny brown back in october uh him ash nico uh, put on a great show as well as Danny, of course. Um, but he was also cool enough to hook me up with tickets, and uh, I actually had a chance to talk to him. And back then, he was talking about dropping this very album. I don't know if it's this exact project. I would assume not. I'm sure there is there's some additions made or some some revisions added or improvements. Who who, who the fuck knows? But all I know is that back then, in October of 2019. Uh, he was ta- contemplating actually putting out this project then or around then. And, uh, you know, the fact that he held off, I think, was the smart thing. There is uh, something to be said when you put out two banger of projects. And both those projects I've been talking about from last year that he put out were from, like, the earlier side of last year, too. They was, like, February and, like, April or some shit. Like, he was going and he was coming in hard and coming in fast. And uh, that on it obviously just gave him a lot of material to play live and, you know, tour with and and I think maybe that was why he was thinking about dropping a third project is because he was on tour at that point. But um, whatever he did to to really to really polish it up, I'm excited to see. And whatever does happen from here, I believe that regardless, the Loopers is not somebody you should be sleeping on. Is not somebody that you can even look at and be like, "Wow, uh, that was cool." No, this is fantastic. This is amazing. And uh, I believe that Gremlin is going to be that project that kind of catapults him and brings a lot more much needed and much deserved eyes onto his career um and uh you know let's see what the fuck happens being put out by bruiser brigade um about 12 tracks along uh 23 minutes not the craziest before we jump in there uh his choice of beats his wordplay his use of vocals the experimentation that he was using on the past two projects uh, are what really are making me so goddamn excited to hear what what goes down exactly on Gremlin. But uh, looking at this 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 cover art as a whole, I feel like there's nothing much more need to be said as far as getting yourself typed and just getting yourself uh, clicking on this very project. So without further ado, here is Zalooper's Gremlin. Thank you. 
Now, clearly, that's not Zaloopers, but like this. Like that cry for help that you just inherently kind of hear. Uh, just the pain, uh, the anguish. Um, that's exactly what I was talking about leading into this. That's exactly what I was going for is, uh, you know, you try to use your, your your vocals to the best of your own ability. But who would have thought that Zalufers is kind of like the best unorthodox singer? Like it's none of those notes are necessarily traditional. None of that like influx was even traditional <laughs> like the amount of creativity that just pours out of this man is insane whether it's in the paintings that he does which i assume he had something to do with the the artwork on a on a paintings uh, level uh, actually i remember on his twitter him saying that so him and someone else i think collabed on this so shout out uh and like what the fuck man that was some shit and i I, I honestly wasn't expecting that type of intro to this. So I think we're about to buckle into something that's that's actually a lot more a lot more deep than uh even like some of the parts of uh Wildcard were really deep. Just that like whole through line of like interlude interviews that's going on where this guy's just kind of describing like his studio and like the, the the space that he has to be to be creative and like that whole like like narrative that weaved that project Wildcard together is is some of the most masterful like shit that I've seen in a long time. And if he's about to just like not go on that so on the nose with all these snippets and shit and just actually like tell a fucking crazy story, um and that's the beginning of it. I don't know if I'm ready, guys. I don't know if I'm ready. Plug on St. Mary's, I'm trying to fuck on his daughter. Step dad and beanie hit a lick for a quarter. Told him he got locked up, mom extort him for the bomb, but he really at home playing NBA Live. My childhood detached, cause I grew up starving. Cook some corn beef hash, out the can add water. I have a memory lapse, I'm breaking bad like water. She used to Billy Jean catch, now nah, body looking awful. Must not die, you look like Kyla Pratt's side. Get smoked like an Al Capone, walk in the function, my extravaganza. <laughs> like some fucking slam poetry oh, i love it i love it let's go i lost my head hey you see my cap sir <laughs> niggas copy my style yeah we know that sir rapping by my life don't need your feedback sir um that was extravaganza live the first track was called pain ain't mine we are going on to track number three which is style for sale the first two tracks uh pain ain't mine gut-wrenching extravaganza live that was fun that was witty that was on the nose that was having fun with it but uh all these short like one-ish minute like lower than two minute tracks that this whole project is riddled with is super intriguing as well when you look at 12 songs in 23 minutes and you're like shit that averages less than two minutes a track and it's not like his previous projects always had these like four minute runtime songs that's not what you're tuning in for the loopers for really um i mean i would i'd be fucking down all day but overall you're just you're coming in and you're getting the most like experimental pen on paper uh in a vocal style and that's that's really the beauty of the loopers so whether he does that in the framework of one minute three minutes or 10 minutes like i am in for the ride and i think you should be too but these short sweet little packages that this thing seems to be bringing is uh equally as exciting Body bad, body bad, swag through the roof. Rig on hockey man, hole in the stocking cap, spinning on these racks, on these clothes. The shit sounds like you're just like backpacking through this hair in like a Betty Boop cartoon. I love this subtle ass, accordion ass beat. I don't know, man. I can't reach you, I can't teach you. I got stuff to sell. Kill the show and tell, catch a bite. 
I like how he sometimes will use his music as like this advertisement for his painting sales, and I love it. Like, go buy a fucking painting from Zaloopers. That was the first thing I ever did. Uh, 2016, bought myself an All Real Monsters painting. Be like Garrett in 2016 and buy paintings from Zaloopers. But in 2020, where they're fucking ridiculous, seriously, go follow his Twitter. I'll put a little thing right here. Uh, that is his painting Twitter, and that is that is some of the craziest artwork you'll ever find. So uh, worth every penny. Fuck trying to say you trying to say myself. If you are beginning to doubt what This is track number four, DJ Freaky Shit. What I am saying. All right. You are probably All right. hallucinating. Her ass What's so fat, ass where she feeding it. Right. If she say what, right. then I'm repeating it. Right. Faith all it took, right. paint all the books. When right. I finally do my taxes, they gon' be a hundred plus. She don't eat dick, but right. she eat my dust. Never right. had it, so I spent it. Now right. it's time to rack it up. All right. Niggas plenty love me, but right. they ain't show me nothing. Right. Born with this style, ain't right. no fabrication. Right. Ask my brothers on the block, right. high in their way. Right. Like, do you hear this guy's voice? <laughs> His performance on this is nuts. This whole project so far, he's done different facets of what he's best at. But they're all varying in enough ways in a vocal, vocal just... Like, physically, you hear the difference in four different facets of how this guy can perform. And I can guarantee you that we're going to hear more on this project. And, <laughs> like, it's so fucking interesting every goddamn time. This project with the, all right, in the middle of every single beat drop or, like, break in the four counts. Uh, he's very regulated on this. His vocals do not fucking go crazy. It's, I'm here point and statement i'm here to say some shit and i'm gonna walk off stage and i hope that you hear me because you better have like that's the type of like mobster mentality that this kind of brings off dj freaky shit this is some freaky shit man I know we was starving at right. the church for canned goods right. Body gon' touch right. Grillin' gon' bust right. I ask right. what she feedin' it right. If she say what right. Then I'm repeatin' it right. What you feedin' it right. What you feedin' it I'm a mind star They ask right. what you feedin' it right. What you feedin' it So far this is like the bleakest fucking album I've heard in a long time It's like he's just doing a bunch of little sermons like it's almost like he 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 went to a slam poetry bar, but he just took the whole set for the night. Like it was like sign ups, like open sign up, and Zaloopers was just one through thirty. Like and he just kept coming up with like these little, fuck yeah, keep it going, man. I like this. I like this a lot. Bounce, by the way, track number five. Uh, this is going to go crazy live. This is going to go nutty live. Just this like little interlude. Like the ass is on, 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 on the stage. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> this, this is fire, bro. This is so sick. Like a little twerking track on here. Uh, and, and it's not even like anything about the first four tracks like lent to the factory. Like, man, I'm kind of wishing we had some more hypeness on this. Like, when can my girl twerk to this album, sir? Uh, she could twerk at any point, but this is this is the moment. This is the moment. And uh, I fucking love that he did this. Track number six or track number five. Bounce. Five. Five. Going forward, we're going to have like a couple two-minute tracks. So I, I like the short run time, though. I really, really respect it. Most of the time, I'm like the guy who's like, damn, you didn't stay for a second first. But um, no, no, because it, it, there's something about the the trust as an audience member that I can put in 
as loopers as like the speaker as like as the guy taking you on this project's journey uh i trust everything that he does for like a creative reason like i really just have full faith like you ever get nervous when you're when you're when you're the passenger seat and your homeboy's just driving reckless or like they're texting and driving and you're just like all right I wish I was in control of this vehicle at this point. Like, at no point. I feel like Zaloopers is texting. He's fucking drinking. He's doing all the sorts of shits in the drive-ins. And I'm in the passenger seat feeling safe as fuck because I trust him. I just trust that this is the best way to get me to where I need to go. And uh, I'm really fucking digging this album, man. Track number six, Hyphen. Boys, uh, but the gray is honey. Uh, this is best is funny. Uh, this is best is funny. Uh, this is best. Now, again, pay attention to all the different styles of vocals that he is portraying on this project. Again, again, don't fuck with the bitch, you athlete. Uh, yeah, she knows she's gonna run it. Uh, little hoe, you ready? Uh, I'm about to put it like a peasant. Uh, I'm about to put it like a desert. Uh, I'm ready. Pussy just like a pill, keep real. Pussy just like a pill, keep real. Pussy just like a pill, keep real. Ain't by the money. Shake that wheel. Pussy just like a pill. Pussy just like a pill. Keep that part that on me. Keep that part when I shit out the country. Keep that part that on me. Keep that part when I shit out the country. Tell a bitch you to stop it. Tell you want you copy. Tell a bitch you to stop. I mean, between that, I mean, honestly, this whole project and a lot of what the Loopers does definitely like brings out. It definitely brings out this like uh, like throwback style to like the ghetto tech and like kind of like Detroit is such a weird place for music in my opinion. Like when you really look at like the biggest artists, you got like you know you got Danny Brown, of course, you got Eminem, then you got Big Sean, Dej Low. If you could throw her in there, there's plenty of others. Royce is in there. Like there, there's a there's a plethora. But no one has, like, a scene out there. There's not, like, when you look at, like, Chicago, you can pinpoint, like, that drill-type scene where you can draw dots to a lot of different artists. The Florida scene that popped up in, like, 2016, same thing. You can draw dots to a lot of different artists while they're all coming from the same type of wave. Uh, Florida music, Chicago music, uh, New York music, West Coast music. But, like, Detroit, it's a big hub for music as far as, like, history and, like, the context to hip-hop. And there's so many ties to so many different genres. Uh, and I, I just think it's interesting that still, you, it, it, when you look at it, there's there's no, like, group. There's no, like, you even have Insane Clown Posse running through there. But, like, the Ghetto Tech Times with, like, DJ Assault and, like, DJ Funk and shit, like, that's 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 this just brought back in like a throwback fashion and redone and like thrown through the 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 time machine to age beautifully um i love this album so far that was hyphen track number seven is up next lost me oh oh if you're working tonight better call me i don't want to have to leave me salty i ain't leave baby girl you lost me you type it like a boss d and i'm telling nigga no hang up like how do you do this with this this and this and and like in and, and fucking this all all before it like i i i'm telling like this what is this is like the poppiest the loopers will ever be but it's so fire no 
Nobody's making more fire music right now. I said it. This bitch alive like a newborn baby. <laughs> Life is crazy, she blew me down. Life is crazy, I'm on the phone. Penny pride, I'm down south. In and out, sipping pains, packing up. You need, you should get packed up. Born, plain board, and I'm blue like Corbett Lane. Like this song started off so sweet, and now I'm just like, oh, I want to punch you. The concepts that this guy brings to the table on this. He's coming to fucking bat. He's coming to fucking bat. And he's outside of the box. And y'all are in the box trying to figure out why he's outside when y'all should be outside with him, dude. I'm in this bitch with my pot and them. I'm roaming village with the pasta and them. My west with tie like pocket and them. I'm grinding hard like knocking them. My bitch bad. She bust fast. I bust fast like glocking them. Track number eight, 16. Out in Cleveland with 16 and it feels just like this city. I got bad bitches pushing button like do hickeys out in Cleveland with 16 and it feels just like the city. I got bad bitches pushing button like do hickey. Hella pack for sale. Breaking down the wall. Breaking down the bells. Breaking down the wall. Get your head knocked off the rail. Get your head cracking like eggshell. Get your head cracking like eggshell. RPDQ. He has sick of sale. Out in Cleveland on the scheme. Bitches acting like they pretty. When it's about the cake, then I tend to act a ditty. Real hustling bitch, put the stash up in her titty. Shit that call me baby, always sucking on some titties. Uh huh. If you bought the council, if that's my bitch, you can't do no wrong. Bitch, go, 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 go for what you know. Know a nigga blow, cause I keep put. Go, 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 go for what you know. Go, 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 go for what you know. Know a nigga blow cause I keep putting in my code. Know the style at working cause I keep it on my code. Go and hit the throat and I'ma get that bitch to vote. Oh, that shit. That shit is fire, dude. Like, I fuck with that so hard. Vocal performance. Vocal performance. 10 out of 10, man. I'm high as hell. What the fuck is you telling me? I'm high as hell. What the fuck you trying to sell to me? Bitch don't leave with dividends, this bitch leave with no settlement Bitch sucking dick for 14 hours, think she up care me Think I need a whole nother fifth, it bring out the best in me The fuck you trying to tell to me? Bring and come down, what the fuck you trying to sell to me? What the fuck you trying to tell to me? This was a lead up single, uh, there's a music video on YouTube if you want to go check it out It's pretty fucking fire, uh, this song has been non-stop for me personally Uh, trying to figure out where my phone at Track number 9, uh this this was it. This was when I heard this. I was like, all right. In the framework of looking back in 2011, you look at Danny Brown. People are like, man, uh, Danny Brown was so ahead of his time at that point. And that's that's probably true. Danny Brown came out today to be a fucking phenomenon. But as like a fresh artist, and that's the unfortunate thing, because Danny Brown's still alive. Danny Brown's still kicking. Danny Brown's still doing his thing, and y'all are just sleeping and not looking at it. The Loopers, on the other hand, the Loopers has that same feel where you listen to him in 2020 and it's like a peer into the future of what the people are going to appreciate more. And that's the biggest fear for me. But I have faith. I have faith through through avenues and marketing. Uh, you know, he's friends with he, him and Kenny Beats have been cooking up something. So I don't know if that's him being on a future episode of The Cave or uh, just, you know, multiple tracks together. But the fact that Kenny Beats was like shouting him out in a, in a live stream. Um, and there's like pictures of the loopers in the cave. I, I have faith that him and Kenny are going to cook up something ridiculous, especially if Kenny's listening to this, like what the fuck are you on? Like I am right now. Uh, but I, I really, really feel like the loopers is just innovative as fuck. And this, this is like one of the best, um, most digestible, um, entry points for him. I feel like this track really does a good job. This song, and there's a song that didn't make this album that also has a music video that just dropped recently, which is called Going on a Date. Uh, those two tracks, I think, are the best kind of entry points that are very polished, very tight. And that's the thing about this whole album now that I think about it, is how tight-knit it is. He's doing a great job. He's making this sandbox for himself, but he's 
putting it kind of in like the exact amount of boundaries that he's going to use. Like it's like getting a, getting a studio space and then having like, but moving from a house and bringing all the same furniture, like it's jam packed in there and you're just making work with it. And it, it doesn't feel claustrophobic and that's the beauty of it. It, it just feels just the right amount of fullness and, and it, this project so far it has so much to fucking soothe in and again the the runtime is not crazy to where you're you're digesting lyric on lyric but you're still finding so much to digest on this thing um it's a lot to chew on here I'm trying to figure out where my phone at track number nine Like, I, I usually listen to this song with, without headphones. I'm going to be real. I listen to it in my car. But just, like, actually hearing how much he's, like, huffing and puffing into this fucking microphone at the start of this as, like, an ad-lib to the track or, like, an intro, like, like hype to the track. Is, it's aggressive, man, but it works. And that's the type of, like, creativity and, like, unafraidness that he is portraying just on all these previous projects and this project especially is he is not afraid to be as different as possible he is not afraid to make everybody feel uncomfortable at first but once you get it and once you're in that group and once you're in the the listening circle of like understanding that's where it becomes this like next level uh, achievement <laughs> in, in creativity of music in my opinion Run up on me, better do your best Badass bitch, let me lick her breath Tryna hit my blunt like Kayak RS My hand broke from ripping my set When it comes to the money, bitch, more is less Try to test this like Elliot Ness Like too good, don't need no best If you knew, like I knew What this game is do to you Protect your neck when the boots will come through Protect your neck when the boots will come through Body, Rick on black a kind. Think about a Bentley Like phase on when FaceTime Your bitch look like K9 Big head, bitch looking like hey. He just said that your bitch looks like a dog as well on FaceTime. What are you going to do? 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 Nigga know what it is, what it be. They ain't pop shit since her BB. Bruce Brick get with me, that's the BB. Make a bitch wobble like she walking with the TV. Smoking on dope, that's the 3D. Smoking on history. Had three sits for the get back. If a nigga talk, that's a kickback. Break pack down, that's a kick cat. Break a nigga down, that's a shit bag. This beat is so fire. And just the way he rides that with such little effort as it seems, uh, but with such professionalism as well. <laughs> That's such a such a goddamn treat. And if going on a date played right after this, it would it would it would make my day. Uh next next track though is on to motherfucking head. Track number ten. Uh and trying to figure out where my phone at is available on TikTok. I, I think he's doing doing something on there, so go check that out. Um, and I really think that this song actually is is what I mean when I say like, hey, there's so many avenues of marketing nowadays. Where uh, who's to say that this is ahead of the people's time when when the people are, are finding the weirdest shit on TikTok and making it you know multi platinum records. So uh, weirder things have happened before, and uh, I would actually encourage the fuck out of anybody making a TikTok with some loopers tracks from a gremlin on to motherfucking head track number ten. <laughs> See, this is that peak like 2014 help type like octave that he's hitting that like that that your voice is beyond cracked if you are a normal person but this is just how it is with him this is how he does it and uh but uh, there's times in help where you're going through the ride but you're not necessarily like always coherent about what he's saying like i always kind of felt that way where i'm just here because it sounds fucking nuts but at the same time like what's really being said what's the message here throughout this like you can understand every single fucking word that he's saying and you're, you're on board you're in it and you're, you're following along but it's still that same like vicious 
fucking melody, that vicious fucking influx on his voice, that like tone of aggression that is coming across with such like a high pitch octave is like such a battle of dueling fates that just kind of ultimately sucker punches you across the ears. And uh, that's what this is right here to like the nth degree. This is some of the best like. If you go back to health, just listen to this one one track, then go back to help and listen to some tracks on there, or like like listen to like Plateau or like fucking I don't know like Elevator or like the, some of those are playing me off Bothic, but still, trust me, you'll you'll see what I mean. Like this is clean. This is this is the best example of like an artist just invigorating an artist on just taking taking it and running with it. Honestly, holy shit. He didn't know my name till I pulled off with his hoe. <laughs> don't wanna cut cause I clicked her on the phone till that nigga pull up, but he rather stay at home. First to a gremlin, blue bands. Then little nigga used to pee in the bed. Night little nigga about to rat to the fed. Chillin' like a loud, I don't need a henny. Used to pee in the bed, now you're ratting to the feds. Damn it, why? Why you gotta make that turn, man? On the motherfucking head. That was fire. That was fucking fire. We need a video for that one, man. For this one. We need that. We need that now. Please. <laughs> Real rap. That's Next track is Mythical, track number 11. Real rap shit. <laughs> Real rap records. In the mountains like it's most jaw. Pocket full of crouton. W9 two time. One pain, one rhyme. They try and fuck with my cheek. Styling since BC. These little niggas waiting for me. I rock with you when no one did. I freaked this out when no one did. Now you out here. Also, a lot of the 808s that I've been hearing on this thing are like blown out on purpose and they're like subdued, like they're almost underwater, like they're underground themselves. I like that. That works a lot with like the way that he's just the seriousness on this project, man. It, it's it's like lighthearted seriousness or just super serious and not like I'm, I'm hitting you with these vocals and these lyrics that are going to make you think about uh, what you're doing, what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> And he's like fading in and out like he's talking through like some walkie talkie that doesn't really have a great connection necessarily. I I like this experimentation. It was a There's no way. She gonna do all that. She can lay it out flat. She can rub my back. She can roll my sack. This debit card ain't flat. Used to be down bad on my ass. I got all for that. Yeah, hey, yeah. She gon' do all that. She gon' do all that. He gon' talk that, yeah. He gon' talk that, yeah. Final track to close this out is Hideous. There's a music video for this if you'd like to go check it out. It's beautiful. Fantastic. <laughs> That like loose guitar string. Beow. I love it. When I crash is like the bandicoot. I don't wanna hear what your man's will do if you had a few. My record's untangible. I can't even act confused. No more than you act a shoe. Size, I'm too high, I'm too despised. These ain't not dependent with my ass when I break. The bitch bad, but the attitude made it hideous. The bitch bad, but the attitude. The switch had them well off. Pretty much, I'm at the grove with it, drinking the city. The bitch bad, but her attitude made her hideous. The bitch bad, but her attitude made her hideous. The bitch bad, but her attitude made her hideous. The bitch bad, but her attitude made her hideous. Fuck. Put some bass in your voice when you talk. If that ain't the realest shit, man. Talking to me, 
well said. We was up in the crib, it was cold like tents, and we ain't get to take a shot, it was just the rinse. Bird baths. Every time I hop on the track, they be like, don't do a bird bath. That, I was so that right there is some of the craziest imagery, like, go do a bird bath. Tense. Fuck. We was up in the crib, it was cold like tents, and we ain't get to take a shot, it was just the rinse. Bird baths. Every time I hop on the track, they be like, don't do a bird bath. So you got this like beautiful like cello or violin, and then you got these like subtle keys, and then the, the string coming out of it, I know I made fun of it. That, that accompaniment of just like, Orchestra orchestration is just that's some shit man that's some shit uh and just that whole song again go watch the video because it's him outside of a, in front of a lake and he's just kind of like looking out or like he's in the woods and shit like it's introspective as fuck and it's just that imagery piece that i just kind of highlighted at the end uh, that's how he closes out the, the album like a fucking pro honestly like a fucking pro. That is Gremlin by the Loopers. Uh, so glad that I fucking hopped on here to actually get down with the whole thing. Uh, I kind of wanted to to talk about the, the production. Because the more I was listening, the more I was like, okay, who the fuck is on this thing? Who's producing this thing? There's there's unfortunately nothing really being shown on, a, on, on Genius. Like there's no lyrics except for Hideous. And they're made by the Loopers themselves. So... Go uh go go get in there and you know add some lyrics maybe see what's up if you can that'd be awesome. Uh, there's some like yeah see this is like the painting with the track list fucking fire as hell but uh still nowhere do I see the the production. I know he's been like friends with Ned Arb and you know Kenny Beats as well. I feel like we would have heard like a Woke Kenny on there or something. So for all we know he's the one behind all this. But the production. Is, is really what allows this to kind of take a whole new level of like artistry and just like uh, the quality and polish on this. It, while it's entirely experimental and entirely different than pretty much anything else you're going to hear, uh, period. And, you know, starting from the first track, which Pain Ain't Mine, which does feature du Duendita. Duendita. And uh, she was not listed on the... the the Apple Music listing, but there she is with her beautiful vocals towards the end of that track, and like about halfway through, she comes in. Uh, but from that moment on, all the way until you're in hid hideous, you know, you're getting hit with a lot of introspective thought, you're getting hit with a, a lot of things that you do need to think about, uh, a lot of relatable tracks. But really, the, the fucking grand slam of a vocal performance that he is continuously being creative and experimenting with throughout this whole project and previous projects. Again, go listen to Wild Card, Help, uh, fucking Dynamite. Uh, any of these like fucking any of these projects are all worth your fucking time and uh i can't can't cannot stress that enough stop sleeping on zaloopers it's it's not really really cool anymore so um i'm just trying to you know throw that out there for anyone who's a little lost and needs a little guidance uh go check out the previous reviews that i've done for his previous albums i'd like to get a formal review done but this may just serve as that uh i love this album i really can't picture this not being in one of my favorite projects even at the end of the year i know we're a little early on uh only in march but i can't stress enough <laughs> just how good this fucking thing is so shout out to the loopers for hitting it out of the goddamn park look for him on tour look for him on uh various streaming platforms just listen to this music uh, go back do your research and uh just enjoy it all because it's quite the ride and i really don't think there's anyone even really touching this style of music uh again the loopers hats off to you my friend 12 tracks of gold uh not the longest run time and i hope that eventually we can't get to a point where we're getting these longer projects but really these like little vignettes like it's like this box of chocolates and they're just like you know each one is fucking different but roughly take the same same amount of time to digest like you can get through this project very quickly but there's still quite a bit to to you know indulge in and enjoy so 
please go check out Gremlin by the Loopers and do not sleep. Uh, my name is Garrett Yogurt on Twitter, Y O O G R T T, uh, Instagram as well, now notation on those two platforms as well. As well, if you do enjoy these types of videos, I do them, uh, you know, once a week or so. So please follow this channel, hit the bell if you want to see the live notifications where I do this very thing live on Thursday nights with some new music coming out uh, that I enjoy. I like to hop on here. Uh, and do that so please just you know join the, join the crew go back watch some of my videos i appreciate it follow me wherever you might like and uh take 